This next story is about ice cream headaches. And you'd think that would be a good excuse for the host of the show to get some ice cream, right? Like just a few scoops of cookie dough to sell the segment? Just a little treat? Anyway, here's Dr. Brick. Really? Not even a half a scoop? Don't you hate it when you're enjoying a lovely ice cream cone or a very cold drink and then suddenly, ah! It's been a palatine ganglioneuralgia. Hi, I'm Dr. Brain. Okay, I mean, my real name is Crystal Dilworth, but I have a PhD in neuroscience, so it's just easier to call me Dr. Brain. So, I'm Dr. Brain. Spenopalatine ganglioneuralgia is what scientists call brain freeze or ice cream headache. It's that horrible but short-lived pain in our head that can be brought on by eating very cold foods. When a large part of our mouth and throat cools down quickly, the drop in temperature triggers a group of nerves above the palate called the spenopalatine ganglion. And the nerves in this ganglion send signals that result in a sharp headache. And this ganglion is deep in there, about there. Your whole head's kind of freaky looking from this angle, right? Ganglion is a name scientists give to a collection of nerve cell bodies. There's many different ganglia in your body. A whole ganglia gang, if you will. Like the dorsal root ganglia, which is a collection of sensory nerve cells in your spinal cord. Or the basal ganglia that contains the nerve cells important for motor control, deep in your brain. The one responsible for brain freeze, the sphenopalatine ganglion, is one of the largest collections of neurons outside the brain. The nerves here send signals to the lacrimal gland, which forms tears, the nasal mucosa inside our nose, and they control local blood flow. It isn't actually your brain freezing that causes pain with an ice cream headache. When the sphenopalatine ganglion detects drop in temperature, it jumps into action to protect the brain from an oncoming freeze by constricting blood vessels, reducing blood flow, and activating the trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is responsible for conveying sensory information like pain, touch, and temperature sensations to the brain. And that causes headaches. A cold-induced headache usually lasts a few seconds to a few minutes. And interestingly, if you're one of the unlucky people who experiences migraine headaches, you're not only more likely to experience brain freeze, but it might also be more intense. Tough break. Try pressing your tongue to the roof of your mouth to heat things back up. Your tongue will transfer heat to the sinuses behind your nose, warm the nerve bundles, and allow the blood vessels to relax. Or you can try eating or drinking something at a warmer temperature to achieve the same result. So remember, ice cream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream, especially if you're experiencing a brain freeze. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.